Yo, what is up guys? Fred at Eastgate Unity here. Today we are talking about the new Ansara Tarmax wheels. These are 100 millimeters in diameter. They're 76A durometer. Now, as you can see, they're packaged very, very well and quite unique and beautiful in my opinion. Now, they are definitely an unorthodox wheel because the inside of the wheel is actually a 76A durometer when the outside of the wheel is a 72A durometer. The outside of the wheel also has holes in it to soften the blow when you're riding over cracks and imperfections in the road. They also made the outside of the wheel a little little less of a diameter wheel. So it's a 98 millimeter in diameter on the outside, but on the inside, it's 100 millimeters in diameter. This will maximize your power, your range, and your speed when going at higher speed and yet still retain that comfort because of the outside's softer durometer and the wheel already being a big 76A street wheel. Now the core is a Kegel pattern core, which is a 10 hole pattern, which I prefer over the ABEC style because when you choose an ABEC wheel, not all the actual pulleys fit inside every other ABEC. ABEC style wheel. When you go with a Kegel pattern like this, it's simply 10 prongs that stick into 10 holes and you can't go wrong. Now I first started testing these wheels on the Ansar Black Carve 3. As some of you may know, the Ansar Black Carve 3 is a stiff deck, it has no flex whatsoever, and the board has super wide traditional kingpin trucks. Now this mix with the super wide wheels and its extremely low stance, I didn't exactly love it. I didn't hate it, but again, I didn't love it. Now, I normally like a low stance that is somewhat wide, but in my personal opinion, it was just too low, too wide, and too stiff. Now, when I put on the OG Backfire Zealot, everything changed. I enjoyed these wheels so much on this setup, I decided to ride it all day long and just burn the battery completely. With these wheels, I reached 18 and a half miles on the OG Zealot. Now for a three-year-old board with a battery of 311 watt hours, I think that's pretty damn good. Now with the stock Zealot setup with 97 millimeters, your top speed should be 28 and a half miles per hour. With these wheels, I got 29 and a half miles per hour. The bad roads, the curbs, the grip was all fantastic on the OG Zealot. I like how these wheels are a little bit bigger than stock, so they don't actually compromise the actual turning radius and the carvability of the board. So instead, it just enhances the board a little bit in every way. So I think if you have a board with a little bit of give in that deck and the trucks are not super wide and the deck isn't super stiff, you'll love these wheels. Now, I still think these are possibly the best looking street wheels out there, but when it comes to that translucent design, I still prefer a traditional street wheel. I've had many, many translucent wheels, whether it's those glow wheels, the torque boards, the Evolves, these, or something like the Shark wheels. These are all translucent wheels, and in my opinion, they don't feel as predictable as a traditional street wheel. Now, don't get me wrong, some feel better than others, but in my personal opinion, they all have a little bit of a similarities when it comes to the feeling itself. Take the orangutans and the Evolve wheels as an example. The orangutan and the Evolve wheels, in my personal opinion, are the best wheels on the market for traditional urethane wheels. Now, they're not as sexy and as good looking as the translucent wheels, that's for sure, but in my personal opinion, the actual Thane compound feeling when you're riding underneath your feet is a little bit more predictable. Now, don't get it twisted. The translucent Ansar wheels are still very grippy. In fact, they're much better in grip than the shark wheels, the glow wheels, and definitely the torque board wheels. Now, I remember when I first started e-skating in 2020 and I first tried cloud wheels, I absolutely hated them. I was riding a Volve GTR, which is double kingpin, and I just hated the wheels. I feel like they didn't grip well and they weren't even that soft. But later on down the road, when I finally tried them on a Zeus Pro, which is a traditional Kingpin truck setup, it totally changed my mind about the wheels. My point being is, in my personal opinion, depending on what setup you go with, I think that you can love these wheels or you might not like them. On the Ansar Black Carve 3, even though they look awesome, I just didn't love them. Their power, their performance, their range, and their speed was awesome. But again, it just felt too wide and too low and too stiff to the ground. And I normally like having that lower center of gravity stance, but again, in my personal opinion, it was just a little bit too much. Okay, acceleration test, 38 on the new Tarmax wheels. One, two, three, go.
Now, a couple things worth mentioning. When you ride these wheels for a little while, you'll notice the wear and tear is mostly on the inside of the wheel. That is very normal. The inside of the wheel is gonna do most of the work and it's gonna have most of the wear and tear on. Now, the wheels come out of the box with 10 millimeter size bearings because the Onsar Velar and the Black Harp 3 have 10 millimeter axles. It's very easy to swap out the actual bearings if you have eight millimeter axles like this. And then you can also utilize the old 10 millimeter bearings and put them in your actual wheel pulleys so they don't go to waste. Now, for those who you might ask, Fred, what is your favorite street wheel? It is still the orangutan Kaguamas, preferably the orange 85 millimeters, and then the 85 blue 77As, and then of course the orange dad bods. And then in second place of a true urethane wheel is the Evolve 97s. Then in third place, I will give it to the Entra Tarmax wheels. And again, I would prefer these on more of a flexier deck that doesn't have super wide trucks. Then lastly, when you wanna talk about hybrid street wheels, my personal favorite is the Mad slash Boosted slash Meepo slash Tiny Wheels. They all copy that whole Boosted kind of 105 style. Mad Wheels was luckily able to replicate the actual design and sell it for a much lower cost, leaving Meepo and Tiny and other companies doing the same thing. I think they have superior grip, maximum comfort with minimal amount of range efficiency. Then I would vote original 105 cloud wheels and then 120 cloud wheels as the second best hybrid street wheel. But at the same time, I wouldn't put a cloud wheel on something like a street board like the Zealot or an X-Way Flex. I would put it on a good two-in-one board to maximize the range and power and speed. Now this is where I think the Onsar 100 millimeter Tarmax wheels come into play. If you have a good street board that you wanna increase the range, the speed, and the power without compromising agility and range, I think this is really where these wheels shine. Because when you put on something like Cloud Wheels, Mad Wheels, Boosted Wheels, the Meepo 110s, the Entra 115s, on something like a Backfire Zealot or something like an X-Way Flex, you will see decreased in range, acceleration, power and agility. With the footage you are looking at, you can clearly see that is not the case with this setup. Keep in mind, cloud wheels alone are about $139 without any pulleys. Comes with bearings and of course the wheels itself. With our discount code, these wheels are only $122. So if you wanna scoop these wheels, click the link in the description. Make sure you use our discount code and start shredding. Thank you for watching guys. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Have a good one guys.